Welcome to my study notebook. We are again here uh, talking about another geometric problem. And in this question it says that in this figure the triangle inscribed in the circle is equilateral, which means that all of the sides are equal. It's also said that if the radius of the circle is 6, what is the arc bounded by the adjacent corner of the triangle? So what we ultimately have to found is the arc that is bounded by adjacent sides. So suppose the arc between these two. Now from the picture it's apparent that this arc is actually one third of the total circumference of the um, circle. So in this case the arc would be one third of the circumference of the circle which is twice pi r. So ultimately this is what we have to find out. And since the radius is already given as 6, in this case, the answer is pretty straightforward, where we put the value of r as 6, and then we obtained our value as 4 pi. So our answer would be b 4 pi. Now there are other ways that you can be more confirmed about uh, your assumption, whether it's right or not, because sometimes the pictures are misleading. So let us look into the other information that has been given. The triangle here is said to be equilateral, which means all of them have the equal angle of 60 degree. Now let us assume that O is the center and then draw two lines on both sides. And if we name them A and B, in that case a triangle OAB is formed. And let me redraw this. So OAB. In OB and OA are both actually radius of the circle, so we know the value to be um, 6. And then we also know this is an equilateral triangle, in which case as we saw that it's 60, but since we have drawn a line through it, this smaller angle would be 30. So in this picture it's 30 degree and the other side is 30 degree as well. So we can find angle AOB from here, which is 180 degree minus the other two angles which is 30 and 30 that leaves us with 120 degree so if we look into this angle it would be 120 degree which is one third of the 360 degree that is the total uh, angle of the triangle uh, <coughs> circle so in that case we can see that this arc actually corresponds to the one third of the circumference of the circle. So our initial hypothesis that the arc length would be one third of the circumference of the um, circle holds true. So in either way you can calculate and find out the value to be 4 pi.